Well, hello everybody. How are you? How are you? My name is Wayne. You are watching Inside Fallon. And once again, I am visiting the Maurice M. Pine Library. Why? Because I've heard they have another art opening reception today. You know how I love uh, art in, in Fallon here? It's a special thing. So I'm going to go inside and maybe get a chance to talk to uh, some of the people involved with that. Okay, open reception inside in the Pine Gallery. Let's go. Okay, this is what I'm going to go visit. It's the Art of Excellence Studio. It's their opening reception. And we're going to go upstairs and see what this is all about. Let's go check it out right now. I think we're in the middle of an incredible show. Hi. Introduce yourself. Everybody who you are. What's your name? Hi, I'm Rena Goldhagen, the no. art, artist uh, and director of Art of Excellence Studio. Is that what's happening here today? Yes, we're having our 2015 student exhibit uh, entitled No Limits. Where'd the title come from? Oh, I'll be explaining that later. I know, but just in case I'm not here for later, No <laughs> Limits means, well, you can't say that in front of everybody else. Is that the idea? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, mean, I, I get an idea, but we have a wide age range variety. Give me some feedback that, of some of our young artists here. Today. Yes, I have students uh, ranging in age from seven to adult okay. in various levels of ability. I have beginner one, beginner two, advanced students represented this year. I think it's a great idea to bring them all together. Was that a challenge to put something like this together? Actually not, because... Of course not, I know you're good. Because the work is so beautiful and it really complements each other in each category. And I understand this was a jurid show that in a little while we may get an idea to see some of the results of that. Yes, that's true. How do you feel about having it here at the Pine Gallery? Your thoughts? I am thrilled. This is an outstanding venue and I have been wanting to have a student exhibit here for a long time and I'm so glad we did. Now I have to ask you this, are you an artist on the side without people knowing or, or a artist where people do know? Do you do something you see yourself? Yes, I also show my own work. Um, I haven't shown it here yet, but um, I'm a watercolorist primarily. How do you feel with the guy with the cowboy hat and the camera standing in front of you? Amused. You're okay with that, aren't you? <laughs> Very nice to meet you, and it's a great little setup that you have here, and I think having art as part of an education concept as well for a lot of people is very important and it looks like it's a very successful day. Thank you for so much for what you're doing. Thank you. Oh, by the way, how long is the show running until? Do you know that? Uh, yes, till June 30th. June 30th. Excellent. Thank you very much for your time. Thank now, you. Go mingle for a while. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time. Hi, how you doing? Good. What's your name? Ariel. Now this is something that you made? Yes. How long did it take you to do that? Um, a while? Five days. Five days? You're a real artist. And I noticed you have a little first prize there. Congratulations on that. Thank you. So do you know what that is? Is that a boat? It's a sailboat. It's a sailboat. Does it really go in water? Yes. It does. Do you, do you know where that was? Where did you do that? Is that, is that some place that really is, uh, exists someplace? I'm not sure. Then how did you get that to paint it? How did you know how to do that? Because I saw how to pick I had Oh, you a saw a picture of it? Yeah. And you did that. That's really good. Oh, look, we have a, a little cabin back there. Yeah. Do you like to do artwork? Yes. Do you think you may be an artist when you grow up a little bit? Maybe. Maybe? Well, you're very good, and congratulations. I know you have another one here, but I just wanted to take a look at this one. Congratulations. Now, go enjoy your day, okay? Thank you. Hi, how are you? Hi. You okay? Yeah. What's your first name? Ariella. So this is your work up there? What is it? A rose. A rose? Now, is that a real rose? How did you know how to do that? Was there a rose someplace and you took a... You made a copy of it? How'd you do that? Uh, I printed out a picture of a real rose and I um, painted it. And you painted it, huh? Did you like, do you like painting? Yeah. You think you're going to have a future of doing some painting work? Well, you did a very nice job. Thank you and good luck. Okay, thank you. Hi, how you doing? I'm good. Okay, tell everybody your first name. Samuel. Samuel. Now, you made an apple? Yes. Do you like to eat apples? Sometimes, huh? Sometimes. Okay. Now, how hard was that to make? Did your hands get a little 
messy because you did that in yeah. charcoal, right? Yeah, like all messy. You didn't wipe them on your pants, did you? No. Do you think you might want to be a, an artist as you get a little bit older? Yes. And maybe you could paint like a banana. <laughs> what do you think? Maybe a banana in the future? Yes. You did very good. Thank you for talking with me. And folks, here's his work right over here. Let's keep on walking around. Wow. So that is your thing right over there? That's your painting right there? Yes. What's your first is. name? Rebecca. Now, oh, nice pose, Rebecca. You could perform for me, aren't you? Now, tell me, this is like a, is that a real scene someplace? How did you know how to do that? Um, Rena took a pic. You took a picture of it? Rena had a photo okay. of, of that place, and I... And I made, and you and you made a and, copy of it with what Nina you did, right? And just helped me. Um, like, um, she helped me um, do it, and she um, directed. She me. directed you. Do you like to do that kind of work? Yeah. Do you think you might want to be an artist when you grow up a little yes. bit more? Well, that's very nice, Rebecca. Thank you. And and folks, here's her here's her work right over here. Yeah. Uh, we've just been walking around talking with a few people. Getting an idea of what they did. And I think I got a little time to talk with a couple more folks. Now I gotta look for people that have patches. Let's go see if I can find a patch. Ooh, where can I go? Now this looks exciting. This is your work? Yes. Tell everybody your first name. Uh, Ron. My name is Ron. So what, what is this, Ron? Tell me what I'm looking at here. Nice and well. It's a surrealistic painting, uh, meaning it's not very not real but it's supposed to be is that like the solar system that I'm, I'm kind of looking at over here yes these are all the planets that's all the planets and yeah, is, that, is that the sun in, in, a, in a ladle that you want to just pour yeah. it out in a way yes it's, in, like, in a way? it's like a uh, cereal or a soup and you're and that's like the spoon oh, oh and this and the whole universe is like in a bowl is that yeah kind of what I'm looking at here that's pretty cool there are stars in the background stars and there's also a door in the background there's there. a door where's that door go to um, I would, I Should we use Central our imagination Park. on that? Uh, yeah, but Kinda? I in Central Park. I guess. So we could go from the universe into Central Park. Basically. Now, how did you come up with that? It just, it just oversleep. Oversleep. <laughs> what actually is this? Is this oil, watercolor? What am I looking at? Uh, this is acrylic painting. Acrylic. Do you enjoy painting? I enjoy painting. You think this might be able to be part of your future in there? Not really. Not really. Well, Maybe. next time, make sure that you don't leave the door like open a, too far because it's going to get hobby. it's going to get strange. And this is really cool, though. Thank you for talking with me for a second. Thank you. Now, I understand this is something that you did? Yes. What's your first name? Morella. Now, tell me what this is. What am I looking at here? Nice and loud. Two flowers. Two flowers. Are they really two flowers? Yes. What kind of flowers are they? Do you know? Uh, no, Come? I don't remember. They're red flowers. <laughs> They're two red flowers, I know. How did you get an idea to do that? I saw a picture on the internet. You saw a picture on the internet, okay. What kind of work, is that like watercolor? What, what am I looking at, what is that? Yeah, it's, I use watercolor crayon. Watercolor crayon. Watercolor paint. Do you like doing artwork? Yeah, it's really fun. You think you maybe uh, have that in your future a little bit? Maybe. Maybe, well you did very well. Thank you for talking with me. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Hi, how are you? Good. What's your first name? Naomi. Now I understand you did this right over here? Yes. Now this is a barn in the snow. Do you know where that actually is? Is that is that a real place someplace? No. No? How did you know how to do it then? I found a picture online and I printed it out, but I don't know. It's from a picture? Yeah. How long did it take you to do this? This looks so good. Um, it took me a few weeks, like a month. A few weeks? Did you have to do it before the snow started to melt? Well, no. Not it really. Was, it was okay, right? Yeah. What kind of work is that? Is that watercolor? Or? It's watercolor. It's watercolor. Do you like doing that kind of thing? Do you like painting? Do you like having people look at what you do? I guess so. You guess so? Of course. You're an artist. Thank you very much. And do you think you may be trying to do more of this in the future? Yeah. Very good. Thank you for talking with me. You did very good. Thank you. I'm glad to see that there's such a great turnout. Um, first and foremost, I'd like to say Happy Mother's Day, because it is Mother's Day, so Happy Mother's Day to everyone. Um, and I'd also like to welcome you to the 11th annual gallery showing um, for the Art of Excellence Studio. Um, it is our first showing in this venue, uh, so I'd like to thank Fairlawn Public Library